Welcome back to Klong Soi. I didn't think I'd be doing another video this year. Uh, it's only a few days actually since I went to the Thailand Malaysia game. Uh, opportunity has come up here to do something a little bit different. Uh, today's game is Port uh, against the Highways Department. Uh, but this is the futsal. Uh, this is like an indoor form of football, uh, like five a side, but they play with a more weighted ball. Because the ball isn't bouncing around as much, there's more emphasis on technique and skill. Uh, and it's quite popular over here in Thailand. Uh, quite a lot of the premier teams in Thailand have their own futsal team as well. Uh, I mean, they're, they're branching out in all different directions now, actually. Uh, Port have recently added uh, an eSports team, uh, which in layman's terms is a bunch of blokes playing Pro Evo, uh, because Konami have now licensed uh, the Thai League, so we've got eSports going on over here at the moment with all the different Thai Premier League uh, teams. So I'm off to, uh, it's basically a warehouse where this takes place, but uh, as with anything with Port, the atmosphere is really good. Uh, Port are actually doing pretty well in the futsal. Uh, they're in with a shot of winning the league this year. Uh, it's quite tight with them and Chambury, uh, but the team Port are playing today, uh, the highways department, uh, they beat Chambury last week. Uh, so it's important to try and put a win on today uh, and try and sort of edge closer to the title. I think there's only a couple of games left. Here we are at the stadium, the Slash Warehouse. Quite a lot of familiar faces here I recognise from uh, the terraces going to port games. Uh, so it should be quite easy to fit in. Uh, just going to go and try and find out where to get tickets and then get a beer as well. Uh, see you again soon. myself a spot it's obviously very close to the pitch because there's a roof on this place
So I'm here at the Port Foot Sal Arena, uh, Port 3, the Highways Department Sue. Uh, there was no way I could do any talking heads in that first half. Uh, a, it was too loud. B, uh, the game was just moving so quick. If I'd have stopped to talk even for a couple of seconds, uh, probably would have missed a couple of goals. Uh, so I just kept uh, trying to keep up with the play. Uh, but yeah, half time is 3 2. I wasn't sure how long they were going to play for. Um, I think it was like two 20 minute periods within one half, and then I guess we got another two lots of 20 minutes after the second half. But no, it was moving, uh, it was moving very quick. Uh, came from 1 0 down to 3 1 up. Almost 4-1, uh, except for the fact that you can't put the goalkeeper and the ball into the net anymore, so it's still 3-1. Uh, and then Highways Department pulled them back to make it 3-2, uh, and that's where we are at half-time. So very loud, great atmosphere in here, and yeah, really fast-paced action. Uh, it's been very enjoyable. So uh, yeah, just a quick break now, and then I'll get back in there for the second half. Should have added it as I was coming out of the match but uh, because it was so noisy no chance just absolutely no chance I'm having to do it now so Port won that game 5-3 uh, Highway got it back to 3-3 and Port just cracked in a couple of goals at the end to get the win they needed uh, and I'm happy to report they did go on and win the league uh, and also the Futsal FA Cup so a very successful season for Port Futsal Club last year there were some nuances with futsal I didn't quite understand um, as I was watching. Uh, I thought I was only going to be watching something that was 20 minutes each way. 
Uh, but in reality, what happens is the game clock stops every time there's a break in play. So that 20 minutes, um, it still took about 45 minutes because you know, any time someone got injured, there was any handbags, anything like that. Uh, but it just dragged it out. So we, we were still in there for like 45 minutes each half. Uh, the other thing was the goalkeepers. There was like a rush goalkeeper rule where uh, highways would take off their goalkeeper and put an outfield player on. Uh, who the guy had the red shirt on. Uh, while they're doing that, they have a man advantage, just try passing it around, uh, trying to grind pull down, but at the same time leaving themselves open with no keeper. I wasn't sure what the psychology was there because uh, all the time they're just passing it, they're running the clock down. Uh, while at the same time they're still trying to chase the game, they were, you know, that was when it was still sort of three-one, three-two to Port. Uh, all in all, you know, it was quite entertaining. I did enjoy it, uh, albeit it's damn hot in a warehouse in Thailand uh, with only a couple of fans going. So not the best place to watch futsal. Today is the 22nd of February. That means the Thai football season does start again. Uh, so I'll be coming back very soon with some 2019 videos once uh, we get kicked off very shortly. Uh, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye for now.